Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relisha Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below. And I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website. If you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step, -step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, When a man says, we'll see, or he says, I'll let you know, then this is what you say back to him. Right, ladies? So, a lot of you ladies have heard those phrases before. A lot of times you have heard a man that has told you, oh, we'll see, I'll let you know, I'll get back to you, right? And let's just say you want to see this man and you ask him, you know, when are you free? Or, you know, are you available this day? You know, maybe we can hang out this day or something like that. Like, you know, you're pitching ideas to him to try to get him to take you out or you just want to hang out with him. And he's just like, I'll let you know, we'll see, I'll get back to you, right? And you're just sitting there wondering, like, what you mean you going to get back to me? I don't like waiting. What you got me waiting for? Why you just can't tell me that you want to hang out with me or you want to talk to me or whatever, right? Why it always got to be, let's see, I'll let you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, why does this man always postpone or delay or kind of push you off to the side, save you for later, right? Kind of keep you on layaway, kind of push you over there until I get back to you when I get ready to, you know? And it seems like this man got certain priorities in front of you, you know? And you felt like, why I'm not a priority? Like, why can't you take the time out to hang out with me? Like, what is so important in your life if you like me, then you should want to hang out with me, right? Or if we're talking, you should want to hang out with me. It shouldn't be all this, I'll let you know and we'll see type stuff, right? So ladies, I'm going to just tell you that if a man ever tells you, we'll see, I'll let you know, or anything of that nature, he is not interested in you, right? He's not interested in you or he's too busy for you, right? And too busy could mean he's really actually busy, like 
Some men, they really don't have no time for a woman and they always working and they really don't have no time to be in a relationship, but they still want one, but they really actually don't have the time to be in one. Or this man don't even like you at all. This man not even interested in you. This man, he's unsure. He unsure. He don't even know about you. He don't even know if he want to go any further with you or he don't really like you. He not really all that interested in you. You know, he got other women that come before you or he got other obligations or other things that he just like to do or he might just be sitting at home chilling and he just don't want to hang out with you. You may ask this man, oh, what you doing Friday night? He might not be doing nothing Friday night. He ain't got no plans. He going to be chilling at home, watching TV or playing the game all night, you know, or just having one of his homeboys come over and stuff like that. Like he not finna be doing too much of nothing, but he will tell you. Oh, you know, Friday, I don't know. You know, I'll let you know. I'll get back to you. I'm going to see. But he is really just a nice way of rejecting you a lot of times. When somebody says, we'll see, or I'll let you know, or I'll get back to you, a lot of times that's just a very, very nice way of no, never. We ain't never going to hang out. I don't want to hang out with you, but I'm going to always postpone and I'm always say, oh, you know, maybe not this week, maybe next week. Oh, something came up. Something came up. Uh, You know, this, this, this came up. Uh, this popped up, you know. Oh, you know, I'm not feeling too well. My stomach hurt. My head hurt. I don't feel too good or, oh, I got to do this thing. You know, I got to, I got to work late. I can't come in. I got to work real late. You know, I got some extra hours in. I can't come, you know, or stuff like that. Like he will flake on you. It's a lot of guys. They'll flake on a date, right? They'll cancel on a date or they'll postpone the dates, right? So like you and this man, you say, okay, let's hang out Friday. He'll say, okay, I'll let you know. I'll let you know, right? But this man, he don't never let you know. Have you ever made plans with a man and on the day of, this man, he has not even confirmed with you that y'all are still on for today, right? He don't even say nothing. Like y'all might have said, okay, you know, I'll let you know on Friday. And he, and then, and then on Friday, you waiting around like, okay, are you ever going to tell me if you can do it or not? And he don't never contact you back. And you end up contacting him like, are we hanging out? Like, what's going on? Are we still on? And he's like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I forgot all about it. Or, oh, I thought you forgot. Or, oh, I thought you had something to do. I ain't heard nothing for you. You know, trying to flip it on you, you know? But really, he said he was going to get back with you, but he never got back with you. He never did get back with you. It's a lot of guys, they said, we'll see, I'll let you know, and they just leave you hanging forever. They never let you know. They never tell you, you know, okay, this day for sure. Okay, we going to hang out this day for sure. Or he might tell you, okay, we are going to hang out this day for sure, but when that day come, he don't say nothing. He don't confirm the date or he don't even show up to the date or he flake on you. He say something came up. My stomach hurt. You know, I got to go to the doctor. I got a doctor's appointment. Something very important came up and I just cannot do it. I hurt my leg. You know, I don't know, whatever, right? All of a sudden something came up. This man is not interested in you. I hate to break it to you, ladies, but he not interested in you. He don't care nothing about you. He unsure about you. He putting you on the back burner. He putting you last. He putting you in last place. He putting you on layaway. Whenever I get back to her, if ain't nothing else going on, right? I guess if if ain't no other girls contacting me back, right? Because this man, he might have other women around him, surrounding him, right? All the chicken heads and the hoochie mamas and the hood rats, right? They all around him, swarming around him. And this man, you know, he got a variety to pick from or he got... You know, that one girl that he really, really like and he's really, you know, close to her or he want to get close to her. He like her 
and he wanted to invest more time into her. So that's why he said, we'll see. Because guess what? You said you want to hang out with him on Friday, but she, the other girl that he talking to, also said, I want to hang out with you on Friday, right? And he is like, oh, you know, just in case, my crush or the girl I like, the girl I want to be with, just in case she flake on me or she, you know, something come up with her, I can always go back to plan B, which is you. And I can go back to you and say, okay, yeah, Friday for sure. Yeah, Friday. I'll let you know. But yeah, we confirm Friday, right? So sometimes that's why he confirmed it. Or like I said, sometimes he really busy and this man got other priorities. He put other things in front of you and he don't have no time for you. He got other women that he wants to invest in over you, that he want to talk to, that he really want to pursue over you. And just in case anything, you know, fishy happened with her, you the backup plan, right? But if it do go through with her, if everything's all good and, you know, the girl do show up, and, you know, she do want to hang out Friday night. Oh, I'm going to just tell you my stomach hurt. I'm going to just tell you, okay, next Friday. My bad. I can't hang out this Friday. Something came up next Friday. So he going to tell you that because he really hanging out with another girl. Or he really don't like you. So he doing anything else, you know, hanging out with his homeboys, chilling, watching TV, playing the game. You know, anything in the world, taking a nap, <laughs> anything other than talking to you because he don't like you. He don't want to talk to you. So he just trying to get out the deal. He just like, we'll see. I'll let you know. But day of, he like, uh, I can't really do it, even though he going to lay in bed all day or he just going to play the game all night. You know, so this man do not like you. And a lot of women need to get it through your heads and you don't need to be nobody's second choice. Nobody's plan B. You don't need to have no man putting you on layaway, saving you for later. I'll get back to you when I feel like it. No. Nah. If a man really, really, really care about you, it ain't going to be none of that. If he's serious about you, guess what? He going to make sure that you know that he want to see you. He going to pull up and pop out every single time. It ain't going to be no, I'll see, I'll let you know. He going to be like, when? When are you free? When can I hang out with you? What's going on? What day you free? What time? What time you need me to be there? Okay, I'm going to be there sharp. I'm going to be right there, you know? So he ready, he anxious, he excited to see you. He want to see you because he like you. But if he don't like you, then he going to be real hesitant. He's going to be hesitating on and real skeptical on being close to you or even interacting with you, period. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't like you. Because this man's goal, I'm going to tell you what his goal is. His goal is... He just wants to put you on standby. He wants you to be the standby girl. He wants you to be the meantime placeholder girl, right? So, you know, I know I can always come back to you if anything else fails. So you might just be the last choice. If everything else fails and I ain't got nothing else to do and I'm bored at home and I just so happen to want to get out and I, I guess I'm in a good mood, then I suppose I'll hang out with you, right? I guess if ain't nothing else happening, you know, ah, uh, whatever. You know, I guess I'll hang out with old girl, right? But he's just using you just for that attention or just to know that he always got somebody to fall back on or he always got somebody waiting on him. He want you to be the woman that wait on him. So whenever he get his stuff together, he always know, hey, you know, I always know she going to be sitting there waiting on me. Whenever I get done doing what I'm doing, she going to be right there waiting on me, right? And again, this man, he might actually be too busy for you. It's a lot of guys they should not be dating. Whatever type of career they got or whatever type of job they got or whatever type of personal things they're working on within themselves, they may not have the time 
or capacity mindset wise to be able to afford to have a woman around him and be emotionally available to her. He might not be able to give you that time because he working all the time or he busy all the time. He working on his business or he got a job that he working 16 hours a day, you know, long shifts and stuff. And, you know, he's just really, really tired. He don't have a whole lot of time to really interact with you. You know, so this man, he may really be busy. And he telling you, I'll let you know, I'll see. But what he really need to do is not be dating right now until his schedule free up. Or maybe, you know, he might need to make some adjustments with his job or, you know, whatever. But right now, in the time of his life right now, he ain't ready for you. He he not available. He, he can't even keep up with, you know, y'all schedules don't even align. He telling you our schedules don't align. You know, you say that, you know, the times that you at work is the times when he off. The times when he is at work is the times when you off, you know. So y'all don't never be off at the same time. Y'all don't never be off work or be available at the same times. And both of y'all schedules clash. And he always say, I'll let you know. Or you always say, I'll let you know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It's just not working, right? Or he might tell you that it's not working. His schedule's too busy. If he's telling you, I'll see, I'll let you know, then a lot of times he's not ready or he not interested, right? But either way it go, it's not a good look and it's not benefiting you at all because he ain't ready. And he gonna always postpone and put you on layaway and stuff like that. And you never wanna be like that. Because a lot of times, you as a woman, think about all the guys you said that to. A lot of women, y'all tell men that all the time. Men that you don't like. Men that you're not interested in. The men that you're not interested in, when they want to see you and they say, oh, when, when you free, can I hang out with you? When, when you free, let me take you out, let me take you out. You, oh, I'll see, or oh, I'll let you know, stuff like that. You're just rejecting that man in a nice way because you really don't want to tell him, I don't really like you or I don't want to hang out with you. So you just tell him, I'll see. You just tell him, oh, you know, later on, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. But you never get back to him or maybe even you flake on the date or you cancel on a date and you say, oh, my stomach hurt, my head hurt. I don't know what came over me. I just, I, I'm just so sick right now. Um, I can't come, you know, you know, my, you know, my stomach hurt real bad. I'm cramping real bad. It, it's just not the time, you know, I just cannot hang out with you right now. You know, maybe next time, right? Or maybe another time. And you really know that your stomach was not hurting or your head was not hurting, but you told him that because you did not want to hurt this man's feelings or you just, or you just did not want to tell this man the truth. And just tell him you ain't like him. But maybe you just still like the attention. And that's the same thing with the man. The man, he liked the attention. He liked the fact that you still waiting for him. He liked the fact that I can always go back to her. And she's sitting there. And she's sitting there timing and tripping if I do not give her enough time. So again, the same way how you as a woman, how you might tell a man, we'll see, I'll let you know, a man... He would do the same thing to a woman. So it's the same thing. And he not interested. He don't care. He playing games. He ain't never going to ever hang out with you. Or if he do hang out with you, you know that you're not the first priority. You know that he got other women or other things that's more important than hanging out with you. So when a man says, we'll see, or I'll let you know, this is what you tell him. This the moment you've been waiting for. This the moment right here. This is exactly what you tell this man. When a man say, we'll see, I'll let you know, I'll get back to you, right? Let's just say, you know, you ask this man, hey, let's hang out Friday night. Or, hey, you know, what you do on Friday night? Or, hey, you know, whatever. And this man say, oh, you know, I'm... Oh, you know, I might be free. What's going on? You know, what's up? You say, oh, you know, I was just thinking we could hang out or I was just thinking that we could get together one day, right? 
And that's why I say you don't want to even ask a man out. Don't ask a man out. Don't ask a man to hang out with you. Don't ask a man to see you because if he want to see you, he will see you. And you won't never have to be begging him to see him and he saying, oh, I'm going to get back to you when I get ready to. No, that's not how that work. Because if that man wants you, he will already be on you. You know what I'm saying? So if that man tell you, oh, you know, well, we'll see Friday night. We'll see. We'll see. You know, I, I ain't made no plans yet. I got to check my schedule. I'll get back to you and I'll let you know. Okay. And as soon as he says, we'll see, I'll let you know. This is what you do. What you do is you just take back and retract Pull back your offer. You get out of there. You get out of the mission. You know, you got you to gotta get up out of there because this man, he playing with you. So you take back your offer. You say, you know what? Never mind. If you're too busy or if you got something to do, that's fine. You know, it's all good, right? And you take back your offer. So if you do just so happen to ask this man, Hey, are you available on Friday? You know, stuff like that. And he say, well, see, I'll let you know. You just say, well, if you're too busy to hang out or you got something else going on, you know, if you, you know, if you're real busy, then it's all good. You know, then it's all good. You know, never mind. I just wanted to see if you want to hang out, but never mind, you know, and just leave it at that and never ask that man nothing ever again because you learned your lesson. You learned your lesson right then and there to never be asking a man, can we hang out? That's why you don't ask him that. When can we hang out? When can I see you? Because now you give him the power to now say, oh, you know, I'll get back to you because you want to see me. Oh, you want to see me? I'll get back to you. That means if you want to see me, that means that you really like me. And if I'm not so hot about seeing you, then that means that I feel like I'll get back to you because I'm higher value than you. So this man, like you chasing me. So I ain't got to chase you. You chasing me. So I'll get back to you when I feel like it. So that's why this man act the way he do. But you just take back your offer. You pull back your offer. You say, you know what? Never mind. That's cool. You know, if you're too busy, that's fine. You know, don't even worry about it. And when you say that, when you say, okay, never mind, you know, you retract your offer and say, hey, you know, it's all good. If you're too busy, that's fine. Don't even worry about it, right? This man going to be like, wait, 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 wait. I am, I, I'm available. I'm available. I am available. Wait, wait, wait. Don't take back your offer because now you put his mind in a fearful state that, that he cannot come back to you because if you retract your offer, now, he never know if you waiting on him. He never know if he will ever have that opportunity to hang out with you again if you retract the offer. But if you let this man leave you hanging and you say, okay, after this man say, I'll let you know, and your response is, okay, now what you did is you just gave him the power and you gave him the power to now say, I'll get back to her when I feel like it. Right. And he know you waiting on him. He know, OK, you know, she in my back pocket, you know, so he don't appreciate you and he don't value you and he don't take you serious. Right. And stuff like that. But if you take back your offer and you retract your offer, now he like, oh, wait a minute. Wait, she don't want to hang out with me or she's OK with not hanging out. Wait, you know, wait, you know, I was not expecting that response. He was not expecting that counter response. He was expecting to leave you hanging so that he can just postpone and keep you on this little string. But when you cut the string and you cut off your offer and you say, no, nah, don't worry about it. Now he's like, wait, 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 give me that offer back because I do want to hang out with you now because now I see that your value is higher because now I see that you're not tripping over me. Now I see that you won't wait on me. I see that you are okay with just letting me go and you just going and moving on with your life. You're not even tripping over me or you're not going to sit and block off your time and wait and block off your Friday night for me, you know? Because if you say, okay, don't worry about it, 
then that man is sitting here wondering, okay, well, what is she going to be doing that Friday night if she not going to be hanging out with me? If she don't hang out with me that Friday night, who is she hanging out with? Because she asked me to hang out with her Friday night. So if it's all right and it's okay and she told me don't worry about it no more, wait a minute. Is she just going to replace me with another guy or is another guy going to be there Friday night? Is she going to hang out with somebody else Friday night? You know, and now his mind going crazy like, oh, no, I need to be there Friday night because if she offered then and she took it back, then I don't know if I'm going to get that offer again. Right. So now it put him in the scarcity mindset. It put him in a scared mindset. Now he's afraid of losing you or he's afraid because he never know if he could come back to you or not. Or he never know what else you doing that Friday night that you're not doing with him. You know, because if he can't hang out with you, who you hanging out with? So this man just feels like, so this man starts going crazy in his mind and stuff like that. And sometimes that might actually make him want to hang out with you or make his schedule magically just all of a sudden is is just available now oh look how available his schedule is now that you took back your offer and you told him oh never mind if you too busy to hang out friday night don't worry about it it's all good oh oh i'm available friday night wait 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 don't worry about that wait friday night you said friday oh oh Oh, my schedule clear. I just checked it. Oh, I, sh I should be able to do that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you free. Now you available, right? Nah. Nah, because that's not cool for you. That's not fair for you. Because you should have been his first choice, right? But it is a psychology trick, again, to kind of manipulate him into actually wanting to see you. So if he playing games, like, we'll see, I'll let you know. You play the psychology game back and you just say, okay, well, don't worry about it. If you too busy, don't worry about it. It's all good. You know, I'll see you when I see you. You know, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'll see you when I see you. Hey, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. A lot of guys will be like, oh, I, oh, I got to go Friday night because I don't know, you know? And a lot of other guys, they might be like, okay, and they might still hang out with whoever they was going to hang out with or do whatever they was going to do and stuff like that. Or the day of, they might just contact you the day of and say, hey, are you are we still on? Are we still available? But especially if a man does not check in on you to see if you are confirming the date, if he's not confirming the date with you to say, hey, are we still on today? Or hey, you know, stuff like that. A lot of times that means he don't care nothing about you. He don't care nothing about you. He ain't even check in to see about the date that he set. He set a date for Friday and, you know, Friday come and he don't say nothing. And then you be the one to reply to say, hey, are we still on? And guess what? And then now you gave that power to this man. Now he like, oh, I forgot or oh, this, this, this. But now he know this woman was tripping over me. If this woman was worried about me this whole time, that means she blocked off her whole schedule until Friday. And she was thinking from now till Friday about, about this date. And now that Friday came, she tripping to see if, you know, I'm coming or not. So she was worried about me. She was tripping over me. She was interested in me. So now I know that she really, really liked me, right? So sometimes I take the fun out of it because now he's like, oh, she tripping over me, right? So what you do instead, if a man do not check in on you, let's just say a man don't check in on you and he set the date and he don't check in, he don't, he don't, he don't confirm the date with you at all. He don't say, hey, are we still on Friday night? Are we still on tonight? If he don't say nothing, you don't say nothing. If if Friday morning come and he don't say nothing, Friday afternoon, he don't say nothing, you should automatically assume it ain't happening, right? Because it's a chance that he ain't never going to contact you. And if he ain't contact you, especially if he set the date, he was never serious about a date anyways, because how could you forget a date that you set, right? He ain't forget. He just ain't want to go or it was not important to him. So you as a woman, you just got to take your offer back, retract your offer, tell him, don't worry about it. It's all good. You too busy. Oh, it's all good. 
and watch watch how fast he all of a sudden is available or just watch his man just fade away because he not serious about you no way he playing games he not interested because again if a man is really, really interested in you, it ain't going to be none of that. It won't be no, we'll see, I'll let you know. He will be sure, for sure, and he will let you know right then and there. We hanging out Friday. Friday night, we hanging out. And that's what it is. And he's showing up and he confirming, hey, we still on Friday night. Hey, I can't wait to see you, you know? And that's how you know when a man is interested in you. But if he ain't checking in on you or he's unsure, I'll, I'll let you know, blah, blah, blah. A big question mark above his head. Then you need to take that uncertainty and, uns and, his, and him being unsure as him being uninterested. He's not interested in you, right? And honestly, that's a guy that you do not even need to be around, period. And then... I'm going to give you a bonus, right? I'm going to give you a bonus tip real quick on what to say after this man tells you, we'll see or I'll let you know, right? So a bonus thing that you could tell him is, okay, like I said, you tell him, okay, you know, it's all good. Don't worry about it. You know, you too busy. Don't worry about it. It's all good. And then let's just say this man say, okay, it's all good. And y'all don't hang out on Friday. And y'all end up not even hanging out that Friday night, right? But then this man come back again later on. He going to come back again. And he going to... And he going to say, oh, you know, are you available next Friday night? You know, maybe a few days later, he like, okay, are you available next Friday night? Are you available this day? You know what you tell him? Now, this is your chance to tell him, we'll see. I'll let you know. Or I got something going on. I got to get back to you. That's when you flip it on him and you give that man a taste of his own medicine. If you want to go the extra route and you want to be a little bit extra petty, hey, you know, if you want to get your revenge on that man and give him a taste of his own medicine so he feel the same way how you felt when he put you on pause, when he put you on hold on, lay away, saved you for later, now you put him on pause. You say, oh, now you want to hang out with me when it's convenient for you. It don't work like that. So now you're on my time. And now I'll get back to you when I get ready to. That's how you flip that around. That's really how you really, really, really flip it around, right? You know, you can take it one step and just say, it's all good. Don't worry about it. And just cut that man off, right? Or you say, I'm good, I'm not worried about it, and this man, all of a sudden, he's available, and he comes back, and all of a sudden, this man is available, and he shows up Friday night, and it's all good, right? Or you tell this man, it's all good, I ain't worried about it, you know, don't worry about it, and you take it a step further, and you tell him, next time he asks you out, or next time he say, okay, I can't hang out this night, can we hang out this night, you tell him... I'll get back to you. You know what? My schedule kind of tight right now. You know, I'm a little busy. I got some things going on. I'm not sure. My stomach hurt. My head hurt. I've been cramping. I don't really know. That's when you bring that out on that man. So he feel the exact same way how you felt. And now that's going to make him upset because now he's like, oh, this woman, she too busy for me? Now she put me on a back burner? Now the table's turned. Now he the one chasing you. Now he the one upset. Is she going to call me back? Is she going to text me back? Is, is, is she going to see me Friday night? You know, is she going to flick on me? Is she going to see me? Is she going to show up Friday night? Does she got something else going on? Is she ever going to get back to me? You got him going crazy now. Just like he had you going crazy, now you got this man going crazy and he ain't going to know what to do, right? So, ladies, if this man tell you, we'll see or I'll let you know, hey, it's all good. You too busy, right? It's all good. But next time he come around, you too busy as well. You too busy for him, okay? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. When he says, I'll see or I'll let you know, just tell him that, right? 
And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification. And I'm out of here. So, till the next video.